part two of AAA Rottery Registered Letters number numbers 15AAA0014 and 15AAA0015. These are the girls. Um, the last video cut short because of storage space issues. So um, I was just starting on Sweetie's litter. I didn't mention in the other one, Bella's litter is now five weeks old. Sweetie's litter is uh, four weeks and one day. So um, at number three, um, Lilac Fairbrook. So I'll just try to find her. I think all the very first were down here. There she is. So there she is. She is Zelda. This is Zelda. And um that is not her eyes are not because of the camera. Come here, honey. Her eyes are ruby. So they are like a very deep red. Not pink like an albino, but like a deep red. Um, at night or um, indoors, without a lot of light, um, they look black. But in light, they're red. Number four, Daisy. Where's Daisy at? And Daisy is going to be going home with her mommy, um, Sweetie, and Bella. So there are the three of them are going to a home together, which I am so happy that that can happen. Oh, careful, honey. So there's Sweetie. I mean, sorry, there's Daisy. And Jelly. The Agouti Veriburk. Now I have two Agouti Veriburks in one cage now. Because Gracie and this, if I can get her turned around. Again, this is really hard with one hand. So you'll have to bear with me a second. There is, eventually, <laughs> come here, honey. There she is. There's Jelly. And, um, yeah, so that's all the females. So, everyone's got a chance to see their girls. And um, you can see the cage that they have. I don't know if I can get out that far. But it's a three feet by three feet, um, three floors. This is the one that I put all the weanlings in. Um, I have two identical, one for the males, one for the females. It's... um. I tell people about my grotto cages, my homemade cages, this is one of them. They are, uh, people talk about, you know, if they might be chew proof, but, um, I have, one, two, three, four, four grotto cages now. Um, I've housed, wow, I don't even know, over 50 anyways, um, rats between babies and, and adults in these cages, and, um, since I've made them and I've had no problems with chewing. It's like, the wood is so thick, I've actually broken a um, power drill getting through them. So, chewing, they might chew it a little bit, um, but they're definitely not gonna get through it. And uh, if you look, the entire back, I took the, the backboard right out of it and replaced the entire thing with hardware mesh. So the entire back's open. And then, just 
move some stuff here so I can show you. The, um, this is what the doors look like. And, um, the, it is not, the duct tape is not, like, holding the uh, hardware cloth in place. It's stapled in, and I just have, um, the duct tape over it for, um, <laughs> On the back, it's to cover the staples so that um, the edges of the staples aren't, and the edges of the hardware cloth isn't going to hurt the babies if they rub up against it. On the front, it's actually just decorative because I'm really bad at cutting straight lines, so it just kind of buffers it and makes it appear a little more straighter than it really is. But um, yeah, I I cut out the doors or the windows on the doors, and I put the hardware cloth in. And put hardware cloth all on the back. Um, just um, saw out some holes so that there's different levels. I make my own um, ladders from various different things. Um, all different materials. Wood, plastic, fleece, um, shelving liners, uh, pretty much anything. Um, this down here, this tunnel that they have going from the first level to the second level is um, like a gift box for like wine and I cut the bottom off and made it into a tunnel and inside it's all lined with uh, yoga mat actually. Um, the hammock I made and it's like a no sew hammock. Um, it's like just basically you cut a whole bunch of fringes and tie them together. It's got two little pockets here so they can hide in them. Um, it's secured with, um, shower curtain clips, um, so just some ideas of things that you can make to make things a lot cheaper. These, like a cage this size, you'd be looking at around $200. Um, I made it for about $30 because I bought these from an auction. Um, the actual storage unit um, for a dollar and then um, just the hardware cloth the duct tape the I have hasp locks for the doors so that I can padlock them because I do have young kids that um, I don't like them handling the rats unless I'm supervising them so I have hasp locks to put a padlock on the, the cage when I'm not uh, with them and yeah just that was about $30, maybe $40 tops, and um, this I probably made for about 50 cents and it took me an hour, where these are about, 50, they're about $25 in the store. So, and um, they chew it, they chew it a lot, um, so you have to replace it a lot, so $25 a pop, it's kind of, it's going to get expensive, so just a few ideas, I usually put a little bit of tips in each video. So those are the girls. I'll be shooting the boys tomorrow because it's getting late and my phone's about to die. <laughs> this is Jelly if you're wondering who's playing with my hand. And one of my hairless that doesn't have a home yet. So yeah, um, hopefully I'll make another video next week. I apologize that it's taken so long. I usually try to do one a week from at least three to four weeks on, but uh, like I said, this, these are two large letters. They required a ton of handling time, a ton of contact time, a ton of paperwork, and uh, yeah, so I haven't been able to keep the updates coming as much as I would like. So hopefully that will be a little better now. I don't know if you can see the four bumps sitting there. Alright, so I will be sending this out to everyone and hopefully send out another one next week.